Welcome to the channel everybody. This is Hardware Despair. My name is Ryan and today we are playing Stack Space. And this is one we have played on the channel before. It is very similar in a lot of ways to Stack Lands, but this has got a much more science fiction feel to it as you can see right here. Now there are other ways to play. There is a whole different game, Switch game here. You can st play Stacks Village. So that's something to keep in mind. It's pretty sweet. Now the reason we are playing this today is it is getting ready to be released on steam here coming up february 20th i believe so add it to your wish list check it out it's a pretty sweet game and i do want to say thank you to the dev stacks engine for sponsoring this video i really appreciate it hooking me up with a free steam key so i can play the early release of it here and show it off to you guys so let's jump in we're going to do a brand new game here and let's see, so I've done Alone in Space before. We're definitely not doing Peaceful, don't worry about that. There's also Runaway Android and Android Drones and a lot of money. So this is probably a, a scenario that has a bit more wealth to it. And then you've got Battle Station Rogue, action-packed roguelike minigame. Now that one I haven't tried yet. Um, I probably will stick with the Alone in Space just because it's like the standard one. So let's go with that. I will turn on the tutorial just for our, um, my sake. You know, I haven't played in a while, so. I'd like to see how it's going, see if anything's changed, any new recipes or anything. That'll be good and helpful. So uh, let's jump in. All right, it loads up right away. Alone in space, you are an astronaut surviving on the planet Altair, four and three quarters. Mine for resources such as plasteel and nanocarbon. Expand your base with the help of drones and bots. Visit strange and fascinating places. Discover the secrets of intergalactic travel. That's definitely something to mention. This has a lot more content than Stacklands. I love Stacklands, but this game, there's tons of different like locations you can go and explore and stuff. I'll show those to you here in a little while all right alone in space do not forget to stock up on energy cells so energy cells are basically like food so you're going to need energy cells not just for food but they also are used for crafting too so they're like the basic most one of the most important resources for sure uh to keep you're going to need to stock up on energy cells to keep your spacesuit drones and bots charged check your diary for quests and ideas okay we'll definitely do that Press pause to rearrange cars when needed. Unpause to allow crafting. There we go. So we are paused right now. Here's our little robot doggy friend. Hello, please tap. He's going to give us advice on what to do, basically. Then we can see over here, we've got the... Uh, different uh basically little you know intro main quests and stuff to tell you what's going on you've got our list of ideas over here that we know so far so we know how to make a drone it's plasteel electronics and then our person and an energy cell so we're gonna we're gonna get into all that too also want to point out if we go back to quests we can see the options here one thing i've done is i came down and i did disable the feeding animation so in between turns or souls um you won't see that animation animation pop up just because it takes time and there's really no point in it but uh, you can keep that on if you guys want anyway let's go back to quests yeah so first thing let's click on our starter pack open that baby up ah so we get our first astronaut here he is hello mr astronaut we've got a decent amount of energy cells i'm gonna pop these up here in the corner we'll probably need one though so let's grab that oh also the credits i'll just move those over here um, so as I've said, similar to Stacklands, you'll see these booster packs as we accomplish different feats and stuff. It'll open up more boosters. Right now we can afford the, well, we can't afford it, but we can do the let's mine eventually here. So we've also got some Plasteel, Electronics. Now, what did it say for the drone again? Let's check that out because I think... Yeah, we can do that. Now, one helpful tip I'll give you right away. Um, always follow exactly the, the way that the crafting recipe lays it out in the instructions. So, for instance, do not place, it says plasteel electronics. Do not place electronics and then plasteel and then put your guy and then don't do that because it's going to accidentally make something else that you don't want. So, we're going to go with uh da, da, da. we're gonna go with it says plasti electronics then our guy and then the energy cell so in that order now you can see the crafting bar opens up and we will resume let's go let's get that build all right we got a free booster pack so that just popped out we got ourselves a little reward here we'll open that up in a sec or we'll open it right now and we also opened up this so with the ability to buy 
the next stage of booster here research and design pretty good all right we've also got some crush chunks this is basically where we get we'll mine those for resources here once we finish i'll probably throw the uh the drone on that or something now we got another booster let's open that up ah we'll talk about that in a second like i said we'll put the drone over here he'll get us some resources now the stat booster is kind of unique um so this game you can definitely it's got like almost a little rpg role-playing game aspect to it with your astronauts because they have little strength intelligence agility and endurance modifiers and of course they get you know melee damage and uh, range based off those modifiers so it's pretty cool and this stat booster you'll get different ones as we go look you can see it increases intelligence so i'm going to lay my astronaut there boom now he's just gone up by one intelligence well also later on we'll be able to construct buildings like training facilities where your astronauts can be stationed and they will like continually increase you know agility for instance or strength whatever you want so let's see here now we're he's kind of hanging out you know what i could do yeah let's do this a bit more efficient let's split the stack get them both working on some stuff what do you say teamwork yay so this first aid this is kind of just a little resource we'll just hang on to that oh <gasps> you know what i actually could sell it it's worth five i you know we won't need it for a while but oh man i'm tempted to sell that we'll see we'll see how things go all right so we got some ore and that's gonna i think yeah that's the source of plasteel and then regolith which i believe is more stuff for mining is that right yeah we want to mine this oh we got another booster Oh, a stat boost. What is that? Strength. There we go. We got some more regolith. Um, let's let him finish this crush chunk. All right. I also need to click these off. There we go. Uh, biomass is a crafting material, so we'll hold on to this. I might start save, uh, selling some of this, though, because we do have to worry about our card limit. We're at 17 of 20, so that is a thing. You can see we've got an excess of energy, so we're good on energy for the moment. But building some solar panels, let's see, where are those listed? Solar panel, that should become a huge priority for us. Two plasteel, a nanocarbon, and a person. So after this crust chunk, boy, you know the thing about this crust chunk is it's actually foily. It's hard to tell right now, but it is a foily crust chunk. So that means it's going to stick around for a while. I think what I'm going to do is actually, yeah, get our astronaut working on some plasteel because we're gonna need that right away. Oh, we got ourselves some electronics, very good. Okay, so he got that. Let's get the stat boost, because it only takes a split second for that to work. Now, what did we want for the solar panel? What was it? Two plasteel and a nano. Okay, we're, re we're almost there. Beautiful, I love this nanocarbon. This is uh, a good resource, you're gonna want a lot of this. All right, so let's go ahead and pull him off there. And, you know, another thing is we should probably get a drone made up just dedicated to the solar panel itself. Um, so this one's great, but he's mining right now. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, look, we're getting a meteor strike. Oh, meteor shower. What? Uh, that actually was helpful. It gave us an extra ore deposit and two, another crush chunk, which is actually very, very helpful. So thank you very much. Um, we're still sitting here. I'm a way over, so I'm at 26 of 20 right now, which means when our soul ends, we're going to have to sell some cards. So I'm going to go ahead and preemptively sell. Um, we are obviously going to have to increase our supply crates level. We we'll probably sell some of those too. There we go. It's not like I expect it to. St I'm going to have to continually sell, in other words. But uh, boy, it's we're getting a lot of decent stuff. I'm just going to sell it though. We're, stack, we're stocking up on some more important materials right now. We're just trying to get our energy cell capacity up and running, basically. All right, so tell you what. Let's put him on this plasteel. I want him to continue here. There we go. All right, let's move him over now. We'll let this regolith chill. Now, this helium-3 is another good resource, but I might end up selling it. We'll see. We'll see. I'm definitely keeping the electronics, though, because we're going to need that yeah i'm gonna make another drone i think let's see here yeah i'm just trying to think which guy should make it probably him because we got to sacrifice one of our energy cells for this so we're going to get a second drone that'll be very helpful increase our labor 
and it's going to pop out really quickly. Let's put him back on the regolith. And yeah, I think another solar panel is in action. I don't like to wait on our, I, I'm going to call this food occasionally, but the energy, <laughs> if I do, I apologize. But uh, I don't like to wait around on our energy capacity. I like to get that up and running right away. You know, even if we have an abundance of energy cells, that's a, that's a good problem to have, you know. All right. Uh, that's another thing I should mention specifically. If you have a whole bunch of energy cells, you can actually start to combine them into larger and larger cells. So I can't remember what this one's going to be called, but we'll see it pop up here. You can see it's actually starting to work. So once you just place them, yeah, there it goes. Boom. Turned into a multi-cell. And if you get enough of these, you can combine those into another stage. So it's really, really handy. Um, also, there is a way to... Uh, I thought there was a way to like snap all the cards. Maybe not. Actually, you know what? I think that's something you have to build to be able to stack the cards like in a certain way. I don't know. Let's not worry about that right now. We got a lot of stuff going on. For one thing, this guy's standing around doing nothing. All right. Energy cells, they're working. Theirs are coming along quite nicely. Now, we do need to think about another solar panel real quick. Okay, we've got the plasteel for it. Let's see here. So, oh, the Rover is a very interesting card. We'll build that shortly. But um, I think Cloney Vats are good too. We won't need those right away. I'm trying to think about like what the next big thing we need to build is. Probably, well, actually it might be the Rover. But other than solar panels, because I'm going to build a few of these. So let's see. Oh, here's the different energy cells you can see. Um, let's do another solar panel. So we're going to need two one and this gentleman there we go all right so yeah somebody's gonna get a dedicated spot here for the solar panel probably be this drone right here um and as you can see these are actually drone mark ones so they will eventually be able to be upgraded which is pretty sweet all right soul number one is over so i'm gonna go ahead and push uh yeah, to confirm this down here charge spacesuits drones and robots we've got plenty of energy so let's do it Boom. Now, like I said, we didn't see the animation, but normally there is a feeding animation at that point, but I disabled it. Um, so let's see, low energy, make an energy cell. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's telling me to make energy cells. Well, we're going to make those, but instead of doing it manually the way he's telling me to um, and waste this helium three, we're going to save that for something else. And I'm just, like I said, I'm making another solar panel here. So I'm ahead of you, pup. I know what's happening. We're good, buddy. All right, let's put him on there. See, it would be an issue because we've only got three energy, but we have a demand. Next soul, we're going to have four demand at least. So yeah, but there we go. We just met it. So like I said, if we get ahead of the energy production, yeah, that, that makes things go much, much smoother. All right, so we've got plenty of nanocarbon. Let's grab some more plasteel. All right, real quick, when you when you put the astronaut just on top of Plasteel by itself, he will make electronics out of it. So that's a really, really important component, which is listed here. It's under materials, but you just need one play. It's very simple to make. just takes a little bit of time. But I wanted to point that out because we do need more of those to make more robots, more drones. And the first two I got was just from booster packs, which was really handy. But uh, for this one, we had to create it ourselves. So like I said, I'm going for another drone and i'm going to place another solar panel so we're getting three of them okay so really quickly here i just wanted to show this off too we are about to increase our card cap and i'm going to do it again in like as much as possible um so it says you can see the robot dog is actually giving me the tool tip now because we are over by five cards over the limit make a storage crate plasteel plus nanocarbon plus an astronaut or drone so you see i've lined up three different ones over here um, i'm going to pull the drones off real quick because our energy is okay for the moment plus we got half a soul to go so we're good this guy's down here this one down here is building another solar panel but yeah, these guys are going to pop out three of those things real quick. Boom, storage crate. We just got a booster from it. Awesome. Let's open that up. Another repair kit. Selling it. All right, let's see here. Uh, he's going back on the ore. Look at that. We've got three of them immediately. Now, that is unfortunate because I did use up the uh, last of my nanocarbons, but we've got regolith. So that's what I'm going to get from there. Uh, let's see here. I usually like to keep these kind of out of the way a little bit. So I'm going to put these down here at the very corner. 
Let's see, I can scroll out too. I don't need to stay so close. There we go. So that's looking good. And we are still just kind of establishing ourselves, getting built up. Let's go ahead and buy, you know what? I've got a ton of money. Let's go ahead and buy one of these. Let's just get a booster. Why not? Let's get crazy. Let's see what we get. A bunch of ideas. Oh, and we got a booster for purchasing our first booster. So it's kind of like a little quest, quest reward there. Let's get our uh, astronaut. You can tell that the first astronaut you have, he gets pretty beefy because he gets all those first like stat boosts and stuff that pop up as rewards. So he becomes kind of a monster, but that's good. You need him, trust me, because the fighting gets pretty tough later on. Anyway, let's see. So we got an idea for a drill. Um, we'll sell that because once you get the idea, obviously it's stored in your idea list. So we, we know that now. Let's see. Here's the drill right here. Three steel, uh, one nanocarbon, energy cell. There you go. Um, it's a really handy building, too. Okay, research station. Boom. Energy cell. Bada boom. All right, I actually want to buy one of these, too. Let's just open that up. And yeah, because I figured it would get us another reward, so that's pretty cool. All right, so we got an extra energy cell. That's going to transform now into a multi-cell. Let's kind of move these guys a little bit. Yeah, but uh, I can tell you that the uh, storage crates, they definitely help. You can actually advance them and make them a larger uh, building later on down the road. So keep that in mind. That's handy. And I think we need more. So I'm going to build some more storage crates. That's my next mission. Really expand our board. Oh, man. We just got a giant bacteria come at us. All right, let's take this guy out. Now, all we have to really do is remove our guy from his active job. Um, oh, wait, he doesn't have a weapon yet. Oh, no, I forgot to make one. Oh, well, this is at least good. Do I know it? I probably do. Where is it? Exploration? No. Health and repairs. Weapons. Okay, I haven't discovered the weapons yet. As from what I remember, the pistol isn't so bad. Oh, it actually is telling me. Make a blaster. There we go. When in doubt, just check out the robo dog. He's always the smart one. So make a blaster to defend yourself. One plasteel, one energy cell. We can do that. And we actually, if you notice, it doesn't even need a person. Yeah, we can get that working. So the drones, I think, will actually attack this thing. If I move them here, let's watch. They should just go at it. Yeah, the drones will come and melee him. Please don't kill our drones. Oh, no, he's hitting them. I mean, the drones, you know, we can say, oh, good, we got the drones. Okay, so we did it. The drones are good. Um, I think this one might be a little damaged, but that's okay. Well, he'll get healed up. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff from that. We got two boosters. Let's open those up. Ah, good, more nanocarbons. Like I said, I'm actually going to use these for... Um, yeah, we're going to make some more of these things here. In fact, that's what he's going to do. Now, I've got a lot of biomass. It makes me think, you know, uh, I probably should get a second astronaut at this point. So, the, in order to uh, reproduce your astronaut, you're going to want the cloning bat. So, that's three plasteel, biomass, and an astronaut. We'll work on that after we get our storage crates finished. Oh, look, and the blaster's done. Okay, so that's going to be a priority, too. He's good. Let's do that. Storage crate down below. Now, he's got another storage crate. Awesome. We're at 50 cards. Like I say, I like to get crazy with my stuff. I like to have as much as possible. So let's do it. In fact, we probably need some more solar panels now that I think about it. But uh, okay, so you can see our astronaut now has a blaster. And in fact, it shows it here on the little animation. So next time we get a bacterium or an alien or whatever, we're going to be able to defend ourselves. All right, we've got the cloning vet up. So now that he's finished with that, we take him and two biomass, we put them on there and we just wait. And we will have another astronaut soon enough. All right, and the energy is doing really well. We, I, I decided we don't need a third one just yet. Maybe we get our second astronaut. We'll start thinking about it. But uh, for right now, oh, look at that. We just cloned him. Now his stats, I'll point this out. His stats are not the same. So he doesn't clone over his exact stats. This guy starts off usually a lot weaker. Sometimes they'll have like a specialty. Like you can see this guy's high in intelligence, but he's weak in everything else basically. Um, whereas this guy's, a bit more balanced although he's pretty heavy in strength but uh, anyway we should probably go ahead and get him a blaster too now there are other weapons the blaster is just like the starting weapon but yeah that's something there for right now they will be uh, doing a little bit of mining but getting that guy armed is a big priority 
All right, well, the robo dog is telling me to build a refinery that produces unobtainium, and that costs two plasteel, a nanocarbon, an energy cell, and an astronaut or drone, which we have. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've got it all lined up right here, and the robo dog knows best. So let's uh, wait till this little astronaut puts his blaster on. Oh, this guy just got some helium three. That's good. In fact, I think that's helium three is what we need to make the unobtainium. Let's see. So it's good we've been saving that. If you were wondering what the heck's he saving all that stuff for, well, that un that helium three is pretty important here shortly. So oh, the astronauts all done. Ah, uh, but soul three is up. So it just fed everybody, as you can see. We now have a deficit, but don't you worry because we're going to get that back right away. The solar panels are really doing work, so that's awesome. I think I am going to go ahead and up, uh, pump out another one, though. All right, so we've got the refinery. So it says producing, it produces unobtainium from H3. Like I said, I think you need two or three of these. I can't remember. But you need more than one. It's not one for one. So you need multiple H3s to get the unobtainium. But uh, that's cool. We've got enough, obviously, because it's started. You can see the little bar is progressing. I think it is three. Yeah, because if I take that off, it won't work. So we'll keep that kind of off to the side. And as we get more of that helium three, we will use it. All right, cool. Because I'm sure as soon as we make some uh, unobtainium, we'll probably get another little reward for it. All right, well, we did get our first piece of unobtainium over there from the refinery. And like I said, we got a little bonus. We got the stat booster here. That's for agility. So this guy's a four. This guy's a five. Eh, they both kind of stink at it. I think I'll give it to this guy right here. Um, I'm trying to get him to work on something, though. I think I messed it up. Okay, plasteel, electronics. Oh, no, I'm just waiting on the energy cell. That's right. We needed an energy cell. We got it. Okay. So I gave him the little stat boost. I'm going to go for a fourth solar panel just because, I, like I said, I like to stay ahead of the curve on that stuff. Okay, well, we are closing in on the last of our little ore deposit over here. That's no worries. We can always get more. Plus, I can make a drill, too, which is like a basically a permanent ore deposit. All right, we just got 10 plasteel, and we got a quest for it. Nice. Oh, another stat boost. What's that? Oh, more agility. Yeah, let's give that to this guy. Let's make this guy super agile. So right now we are actually working on the rover, though. So that's going to be the next thing. Now, this is a very interesting card. Let's go ahead and get it built before I start talking about it. But, uh, yeah, we're doing okay. You can see energy is through the roof. But uh, it's kind of a comp more. It's not a complex recipe, but you got to kind of. It's a little bit hefty on uh, resources. So we want three nanocarbons, an energy cell, a robot or a person, and then the plasteel on top. And like I said, I got to stress, really just follow the recipe. Don't mix and match your own way because you'll produce something you don't intend to. But here we see it's going to pop out right away. Oh, now he's done too. So hmm, we're going to need to get the drill. Let's see, three plasteel, nanocarbon. Okay. Oh, we need an energy cell, so I'm going to have to wait for that, but no worries. They'll pop one out real quick. As you can see, we do have four of these bad boys working. All right, so there's the rover. Now, you can see this is one of the purple cards. It's basically like a vehicle, um, and there's several different ones of these. I won't spoil them yet, uh, but we do get different ones of these we can craft or find. Um, so what happens, you can see it's got five there. Cost five to sell, obviously, but it's down in the very bottom left. It says unknown cards, six. So there are six different unknown cards we can explore with the rover and discover. So basically, we put an astronaut on this, like here, and we just wait. So let's unpause it, and we'll see. He's going to discover one of the six, possibly. Ooh, what is this? Intelligence by one? <gasps> Actually, real quick, I'm going to give him that. Yeah, all right, no worries. It reset the progress, but I'm not worried about it. It's only a few seconds. So you do need to be careful, though, because these things can discover hostile stuff. Okay, so now if we look at the robot, it's or at the rover, it should say down as it scrolls down, known cards, crush chunk, unknown cards, five. So now we've got five unknown cards to discover with the rover still. It could produce another crush chunk, but it might also produce, oh, an alien bug. There we go. So we got a little combat. I think just this bug, we should be able to handle it with our two astronauts. So I'm putting them in ranged. There we go. And they just uh, lasered them down. Good job, guys. Let's put him there. I'm going to put, oh, shoot. We lost progress on this, but that's okay. We saved the colony, so that's important. Uh, stat boost. Let's give that to this guy. He's really weak, so he's he needs it. 
All right, let's put this back. Now, is this the right recipe again? I just want to make sure I'm not screwing up the drill here. Yeah, okay. We're good. We're good. Okay, very good. We Oh, okay, so we've got ourselves a rusty shuttle. So this is related to the rover. Like I said, there are other vehicles. Here's one, except this one we have to repair. So it looks like you can fix it with unobtainium and nanocarbon, it says. Um, I'm going to set it off to the side because I don't know exactly... Is that enough? Oh, okay, that's going to do it. All right, we'll, we'll let it repair then. That's huge. I was going to say we'll need to wait till the dog tells me how to do it, but we just figured it out because we're brilliant. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh-oh. Okay, energy cells are depleted because we just went through our soul. Uh, oh, my gosh. We've got an infestation, a space mouse. I'm going to see if just my astronaut, this one guy, can take it out. I don't want... Oh, okay, I don't want to reset the progress on this again here. Ooh. All right, there we go. We got ourselves a drill. Ooh, and we got to preserve the energy cell. That was kind of nice. All right, let's move that. Now we can put this guy, like I said, it's basically just a permanent, you know, plasteel production spot. Okay, well, the space shuttle has been repaired. So we got that pretty early, too. Buckle up, Galaxy Express has taken off. May discover new locations. So this one has six unknown cards. And you can bet that it's probably, like, um, more dangerous. So the, the monsters that it can potentially spawn are probably more challenging. So I'm going to set it off to the side just for now. Because we're going to focus on the rover more. You know, we, we still have un unknown cards with this one to explore. So we're not done with the rover yet. But that'll help us get geared up a little bit better for the uh, upcoming shuttle and stuff. I prefer to take them one at a time. So I'm kind of just selling the ore deposits at a, as I go. I've got a, we're taking a break on the rover because we needed some more nanocarbons and stuff. Here we go. But the ore deposits I'm getting, I'm just selling them. Since we have a drill now, it's not a big deal. We can get plenty of plasteel. Believe me, in my first playthrough with this, we had so much plasteel. It was ridiculous. I had stacks and stacks of it. It was pretty sweet, actually. But uh, yeah, so plasteel is not going to be an issue, trust me. So we are getting a lot of foily cards, and I just want to point out again how great these are. Um, so you can see I've got a foily unobtainium, and you can kind of see the difference here between these foily cards. It's just shinier. Uh, we've got a foily H3 and a foily nanocarbon. I just recently discovered these. So what this does, again, is it's more valuable. So if I wanted to sell it, it's worth one more, but it has much more value than that because basically this can be used again and again. So this has like a certain certain number of charges essentially you can use this card whereas this unobtainium or this nanocarbon right here could only be used once this one i'm not sure exactly how many times but it can be used several times so it's really cool whether it's for crafting or whatever else you know it's it's very very handy to get these foil now if you don't like that function you can actually turn it off it is in the options as well you can turn off foil cards all right, well, I just built the research station over here, and it says use it to generate advanced unique ideas. You know what that means. We need another person to be our researcher, so let's grab... Um, oh, he's almost done with the rover. He's been producing nothing but crush chunks out of that thing. That's okay. Crush chunks are very valuable, but we still have three unknown cards here to go. Um, but we're going to go ahead and clone him and make one of these guys a researcher. I guess I'll put him over here. We're getting a ton of unobtainium. It's awesome. Um, unfortunately, the dog is just like really insistent that we go ex using uh, the space shuttle to go explore. <laughs> I'm like, man, we're, we're still on the rover over here, buddy. All right. Anyway, let's do that. Let's get him. So we'll see. Hopefully we get some new ideas because I have been kind of saving my cash a lot. So, I mean, we've got 26 credits. We should probably be buying more of the research and design, to be honest. Advanced Robotics is awesome. It sounds cool, and trust me, it is very cool because we, yes, can make robots. Um, and I'm not talking about drones. I'm talking about, like, battle droids and stuff. But uh, for now, like, the this is more prudent, going with some more basic ideas and stuff. Um, oh, okay, check this out. We did get the an idea for an endurance uh, like training thing or whatever so we can start training our astronauts. 
Unfortunately, we got an idea for something we already know, but we can still sell it. And again, you know, it's not always guaranteed you're going to get new ideas out of this. In fact, again, if you just hold down, oh, you can see in the bottom left the scrolling. We we have 13 cards yet left unknown for this particular kind of car pack here. Uh, we haven't bought a single one out of this, so there's five unknown cards there. Um, let's see here. So we're, yeah, we're going to get some stuff we already know, but that's okay. Uh, research station. Oh, a laptop. That's new. Or at least new to me. I'm not sure what that does. Nanocarbon electronics. We could make that. Hold on. I want to make that. I don't know what this is. I, in my first playthrough, I never uh, encountered the laptop. That's huge. Okay. What does it say? Nanocarbon electronics and a person. Okay. And again, I am going to use my foily nanocarbon. So you'll see once this crafting is done, that nanocarbon will most likely be left over. I don't think I've used all the charges on it yet, so we should be good. Also, I want you to note just how crazy much energy we have going on up here. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on energy. We're at 25 of 10. All right, let's take out the bug. Come on, shoot the bug. There we go. Okay, let's see what this laptop does here. We'll cook it, throw him back there. Um, I'm going to sell that. Okay, the laptop. Research laptop. Use it to generate simple but unique ideas. There's the nanocarbon still left over. Okay. Well, we're doing okay on, on resources right now. The only thing I can think is we might need some storage crates. But from what I recall... There was a way to make, I can't remember what the recipe was though for it. Storage silo. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Yeah, it's, so we have crates, but we need silos. So if we do unobtainium and nanocarbon, okay, okay. I also believe there's a way to upgrade the crates though too. And I can't remember how that goes. I have to try and look that up, but uh, no worries. I here we, we will go ahead and make a silo though, just from scratch. So unobtainium and a nanocarbon. Hey, let's use our foily ones. Very good. Now let me see. Do I need a person too? Oh, wait. Yes, yes I do. Oh man, I'm tempted to clone another person already. Oh, we're gonna need it soon enough. I will eventually. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're getting a lot of bugs. Oh, this guy's a this guy's a survivor. He's attacking on nanocarbons. Okay, so this says unobtainium. Wait a second, I'm missing something here. Oh, it does say we need a person. Okay, my bad, my bad. I'm figuring it out. Okay, there we go. So let's get that done. I'll worry about the laptop in a little while. This rover's more trouble. <laughs> so much trouble. All right. Um, oh, Soul 5 has just ended, folks. But you can see we've still got a ton of energy. Oh, my gosh. We got another booster for reaching Soul 6. There's our storage silo. So that boosted us up to 70 cards. Oh, that's huge. Look, he's going to keep building them unless I tell him to stop there. Yeah, let's have you go back to research. And Oh, my gosh, guys. There's so much going on right now. I just want to keep going and going. But that is going to have to be it for this episode. Uh, boy, if you guys enjoy this content, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, you know, If you want to see a full series on this game, I'd be really happy to do that. Just let me know. Like I said, hit like and subscribe. Go check out Steam. and uh, the, the, There's a link down in the description there. So wish list, stack space. Guys, check it out, and I will see you on the next episode.